So, last week it was capris and t-shirts. This week it's coat, scarf, and big clunky shoes for the rain that's happening outside. So, um, I'm on my way to work. I'm going to leave the camera at home today for Jillian because she's actually helping her aunt film like a movie today. So, I don't know if it's a school project or just something that she's doing for herself, but it should be fun for Jillian. So, I thought I'd leave the camera so she can film a little bit of it because there's zombie stuff and cool makeup and things like that. And I'm just going to be at work. Nothing exciting ever happens there. Of course, except for today, the day that I won't have my camera with me. I'm sure like the building will catch fire or something. Oh. I'd get out of work. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be back later. So Jillian's aunt is all into like lineage stuff and finding history <laughs> things, which is super awesome. And she's doing our family. And so far we've found as far back, I don't know if it's gonna see. 1660. 1660. So my great, 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 great grandfather. Still in Montreal. Joseph Charbonneau. We're still in Canada. This is so frigging cool. 1660, Montreal. A lot of my family comes from Montreal because we be French. Huh. Your great, 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 great grandfather Charbonneau, Olivier Charbonneau, mm -hmm. who was your first immigrant in your family, mm -hmm. uh, who was born in Montreal. Um, he had many children. Um, he had the child Joseph Charbonneau, who was your direct ancestor. Joseph Charbonneau's brother, uh, Jean-Baptiste Charbonneau, um, let me just get to Jean-Baptiste. It's the first one, father of Jean-Baptiste Charbonneau. Yeah, actually no, no, Olivier Charbonneau had a son called Olivier Michel Charbonneau, who had a child, Jean-Baptiste, mm -hmm. um, and then Jean-Baptiste had another child, Jean-Baptiste, who had a child called Toussaint Charbonneau, which is the famous French Canadian explorer, who is one of his wives. Oh, was, he had multiple wives? Yes. Okay. Um, I think Sacagawea was his third wife. But okay. now you know, um, by marriage, you are actually related to Sacagawea. That's cool. And that's why our last name, Charbonneau, developed the meaning of sparkling water was because it's what she wanted. She like made it mean or something like that. I remember I had to look that up once and it was saying that the meaning was um, created by Sacagawea means sparkling water. Yeah, well, it makes sense because there's O in your thing. But also, um, I couldn't like from her lineage, I couldn't find more information except like one of her great granddaughters owning a ranch somewhere in California mm. but I don't know who else to contact after about hey like we're you guys are related because it's kind of weird it's like hey we're related by 400 years ago yeah because actually like when I look at this there's a lot of Charbonneaus who marry into their family so that's why it's a there's a lot of you guys but you're all actually related yeah so any Charbonneau is most likely related according to this list so this is one of my great 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 grandfathers who built the first well, I think. Was I think so. De premier moulin à l'eau. Yeah, the first water 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 mill of of the world or just Canada? Of Montreal. Of Montreal. Of 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 New France. Of New France. Don't worry. Yeah. I was like. And yeah, de la région. The first well of the world. Yes. My family. <laughs> Everyone before that had no idea what water was. <laughs> and here it says, of his five children, two sons, Jean and Joseph, you guys come from the Joseph, mm -hmm. um, transmitted the Charbonneau name to multiple descendants. So many descendants. And I would be one of them. Yes. Me. Not and me. you too. <laughs> two. I am by... You're a Charbonneau, don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're maybe by, a Palouche. By you... ex-relation. Many... According to Wikipedia, which is a very reliable source, but according to Wikipedia, uh, your ancestor, um, well, he is the ancestor of 35,000 living North Americans, statue in his image in Laval. There's a park called Olivier Charbonneau in Laval in remembrance of the first population of Ile Jésus. There's the bridge, Olivier Charbonneau Bridge, into Montreal <coughs> and Quebec, Auto Route 25 is named after your ancestor. And in both France and Quebec, there are two Charbonneau associations, the descendants of whom meet regularly. 9.30 at night, and guess what we're just about to do now? Eat 
dinner. I am so tired of this, but I am excited. Three weeks from now, I start 9.30 to 5.30 again. No more night working for me. Eating dinner at normal people time instead of like vampire time. So this is good news. So just tortellini with a rosé sauce. Should be delish. Fingers crossed. It's about 10.30 at night. I think I'm going to be going to bed soon. There's really nothing else going on tonight. Jillian and her aunt are just going to hang out and work on some movie stuff that they're doing. So that should be interesting. They're going to go out filming tomorrow. And right now, like I said, that's it. I'm going to go to bed. Bye.